We are learning more tonight about the two brothers involved in a road rage case that led to a deadly police shootout. Neighbors say they never saw any sign that the brothers were violent, and they can't understand why they fired at cops. Here's News 13's Alex Tomlin. Dick, late last night, state police got a call of a truck slowing down and speeding up on I-25 near Santa Fe. The caller said the driver was harassing her by turning his lights on and off for no reason. Police say that truck's license plate led them to Samuel and Daniel Pauly. They were nice guys. I mean, I just felt like if anything happened, they were people that I could turn to. Neighbors on this quiet Glorieta Road say they were shocked to wake up to a crime scene this morning. Officers came here before midnight. Things turned deadly within seconds. As they were walking towards the residence, someone from inside yelled, we have guns. Um, uh, just after that, three shots were fired. Police say one brother, Samuel, came to the window. He was also holding a pistol in his hand. An officer killed him. Cops say that's when Daniel disappeared into the woods with a shotgun for a few minutes. He walked back and surrendered, but he didn't have the shotgun in his hand. Police later found the gun hidden in the woods. Neighbor Max Anderson has been friends with the Polly family for years. Good neighbors, no problem at all. I've never had no trouble with them speeding or, you know, acting idiots or nothing. They've been good kids. And they always kept to themselves, and I know that they were working on themselves, like they were vegetarians and just, like, aware of what was going on in the world. Neighbors say both brothers were also excited about their jobs, waiting tables and bartending at Geronimo, an upscale restaurant in Santa Fe. A co-worker told us tonight that they were some of the best employees. Both men had moved from Southern California about two years ago. Online court records in Orange County show a lot of speeding tickets. Daniel had been convicted of burglary in 2005, but hadn't been in trouble since. It just seems unnecessary that it had to be in this way, so, and just another sweet life lost. And. Daniel Polly is behind bars tonight for aggravated assault on a police officer. I spoke to their father. He told me this is obviously a difficult day for him. All right, Alex, investigators are still trying to determine if the three shots fired by the Pauley brothers were actually aimed at the officers or fired in the air.